Hi, my name is Mark Diamond. I'm with Integral Technology Solutions, and I'm going to demonstrate for you today the use of the Integral Integrated Biometric Identifier working with Compliance Wire to do electronic signatures. First, I'm going to use this trainer control panel, which we open up from the, the menu here. I'll close it here. We go to our icon, open the trainer control panel, and I'm going to identify a trainer. As we can see here, there's a setup matching data button, which normally you would press first, but if you haven't done it yet, you can just skip to identify trainer and it automatically um, sets up the, uh, the matching set uh, so you don't have to set up the data first. Um, then I'm going to touch the sensor with a finger. Here we go. And as we can see, it's done a match and uh, identified a user, which is our trainer. Now I'm going to use the trainer control panel to log into Compliance Wire, and I have to use that same finger to match, or another matching finger from the same user, it doesn't matter which. And it's going to log me in automatically to Compliance Wire. It's currently using a built-in interface that Compliance Wire built into their, um, their system that allows our system to interface with their system and allows for these automatic logins. As you can see here, the application is designed to kind of work with the user and get out of their way while the user is working with the web, web page here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to identify a training class. It, the, the trainer control panel says, please open the class sign-in sheet in Compliance Wire and then click OK. So that's really my next step. I'm going to select an instructor-led class. And let's uh, come in here. And let's pick a demo course. Look at the list of classes. And I'm just going to add a class here, test one for today, and save that class. Now I'll go to the roster. And here's that class. And I'm going to use the class sign in sheet, which is here. Okay, now I've opened the class sign-in sheet and I'm going to click OK. So the trainer control panel here says, okay, um, I know the trainer. I now have identified the class ID and the class code. Uh, the class here, 3264868 is here. The class code is buried in, in the custom interface that was built between our two systems. Um, as we can see, this is done for company code 12201WW, which is in wide use at Ethicon and elsewhere. Okay, now it's ready for students to sign off. I'm going to use the student finger here. And it's a, done a match. This is my ID here, my WDR ID. And I'm going, it's, it says, okay, if this is you, we confirm it with the, with the user, um, then touch the sensor or decline and try again. And then touching the sensor is going to uh, um, basically confirm an e-signature on a training. So please touch the finger scanner in order to sign that you have successfully completed the above class. I'm going to touch. We've done a match. And that e-signature now is synchronized with the class sign-in sheet down here. And that's showing up on Compliance Wire's site. And we can see they recorded an e electronic signature. Um, at this date and time for this user. Um, they have passed that information back to our system so that we can confirm uh, between the two systems we've linked our e-signature IDs and date time stamps. Okay, I'm going to use the trainer ID as another student and that person is going to sign also. And that ID shows up now on the list. And then finally, to the last step, is uh, signing off. So uh, when we're all done, the trainer is going to sign off um, on the class. We can also just always go back and resume student sign off. Okay, now trainer, if you are this ID, touch your sensor to sign off on this class and log out of Compliance Wire. And this is a confirmation that all the students have completed the associated training. I'm going to touch, bing, um, and then we work with an an, another hidden interface within the system to authenticate this the trainer and log them out. And now that class is completed and we can close down and move on to other work. These e-signatures for those users are stored in Compliance Wire and available for reporting. They're also stored in, in the uh, integral 
uh, database as uh, CFR 21 compliant and Annex 11, which is a European Union uh, um, protocol, GMP protocol for electronic signature as well. It, our format is compatible with both protocols. Thank you very much. You can contact me at mdiamond at integraltex.com um, or call us at 732-414-6000 if you have questions about this demo. Thank you.